Okay, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is bring a pot of water. <laughs> okay, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is bring a pot of water to boil. The first thing you want to do is bring a pot of water to. Oh my god. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is bring a pot of water to a boil. <laughs> oh my god. Hey guys, welcome back to Ally Can Cook featuring Mama McManus. You may have realized that Mama McManus is not in this video today, unfortunately. She's off on vacation this week. But what we decided to do was for this week's video and next week's video, we are both going to be filming our own separate recipes. We are going to be showing you guys how we make our favorite Freshy bowls. Freshy is a restaurant, I think it's, it's in Canada for sure, and I feel like it's in the States as well, where basically they just make really healthy salads, bowls, burritos, and all sorts of really yummy stuff. So on today's episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how we make our version of the Buddha bowl that they make at Freshy. And then in the next week's video, when my mom is back, she's going to be showing you guys how she makes her Greek bowl, and she's going to be showing you guys how she actually makes feta out of tofu. So yeah, if you guys want to see how to make this Buddha freshy bowl, keep watching. What you're going to want to do is cook your vermicelli noodles. You're going to want to bring a pot of water to a boil, and then add your noodles in, and cook them for about two minutes. Now, I'm using vermicelli noodles because they're my favorite ones, but you can really use any type of... Asian noodles, so you can use pad thai noodles, whatever one you like best. Okay, so after your noodles have finished cooking for two minutes, you're just going to want to strain them. After you finish straining your noodles, you just want to put them in a bowl and set them to the side for a bit to cool because this is a cold bowl dish, or you can even pop them in the fridge for a bit to cool down if you want it to be faster. After you set your noodles to the side to cool for a bit, now's the time that we're going to want to prep our peanut sauce for the bowl. The sauce recipe that I use I actually found online on the Minimalist Baker site. It's a pretty simple sauce and it's super delicious and easy to make, so that's what we're going to whip up right now. We're going to want to add in a quarter cup of all-natural peanut butter. It can be chunky or smooth. A tablespoon of soy sauce. Three tablespoons of brown sugar. Half a teaspoon of chili garlic sauce. And then the juice of half a lime. So you're just gonna wanna mix this up now. You want the sauce to be a little bit thick in consistency. I have it right now like this. I'm going to add in a little bit of hot water though. She does say to add in hot water because her sauce is not as thick as I would like mine to be, but just a bit of very hot water to thin it out. Keep mixing it. Once you have a consistency that easily falls from the spoon, that's the you want. So the main vegetables that we're going to be putting into the bowls are red cabbage, green onions, carrots, and cucumber. So I've just chopped these up finely here. Okay guys, so after you finish cooking your noodles and letting them cool, chopping up your vegetables, as well as making your sauce, you are ready to prep your bowl. For prepping the bowl, I'm going to do it a little bit differently than I usually would because I'm going to prep it for the Instagram post. But basically, you just want to add your noodles into the bowl, top it, and then put your sauce on top. I actually have this, this little bottle squirter thing here so I can kind of put the sauce all over. But usually if I'm just making this for myself, I put a big clump in the middle and kind of mix it up like a salad. Okay guys, so as you can see, it's a super simple, easy, healthy bowl that you can make. You could also add fried tofu to the top of this. I haven't tried that yet, but I think it probably tastes really, really good. As of right now, I just really love it with the vegetables, and I love the vermicelli noodles, and I love the crispy wong tong noodles on top. I highly recommend you guys try it out. I'm gonna dive into this right now. Now that I've done the Instagram photos and the close-up shots, I'm gonna put the entire sauce onto it now because it really is good with the sauce on it to have it all coated. Mmm. It's really good. 
If you guys like the fresh rolls that you order at restaurants, this is like a fresh roll in a bowl. It's actually amazing. So yeah, that's it for this week's video. Like I said, next week's video, my mom is going to be showing you guys how she makes a Greek freshie bowl. So if you guys want to see that, stay tuned for next week. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe. We make new videos every single Thursday, trying out different vegan foods and showing you our favorite vegan recipes. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next Thursday. Bye guys. This needs more sauce on it.